girl, I shared a room with my sister. And every night after we had our prayers and turned off the lights and hopped into our beds, we would ask each other this question. What are you going to dream about tonight? I would normally dream about being a princess and going off on an adventure with a prince. And as I closed my eyes and drifted off to sleep, I would imagine that I was just like the princesses that I had seen in the movies that I watched and the books that I read. I imagined that I was white and had long blonde hair. Fast forward 25 years later, and these same sentiments still exist today. Ask a little brown girl in 2016 what she wants to be for Halloween, and she might say that she wants to be Princess Elsa from the, from the Disney movie Frozen. But what do these stories signify? They are the results of what happens when children of color don't adequately see themselves represented in the media. A study published by Indiana University shows that the results can be low self-esteem and even self-hate. The solution to this problem is Afro Princess Publishing. In April of this year, I published Whitney's Wonderful Imagination. And when my little nephew asked where his book was, I created I'm a Little Superhero. 97% oh, but how do I make money doing this? 97% of my sales come from directly selling to my customers at vendor events. After reviewing my numbers, I've determined that my break-even point is selling 100 books a month. I'm currently selling 70 books a month. So how do I make this a viable business? I will first open up my market. The 70 books a month that I'm currently doing have only, been come, have only come from marketing and selling to one of my target customers. So I will begin reaching out to my other customers, which include bookstores, schools, and organizations that value inclusion and diversity. Specifically for the organizations, I will focus on selling the books in bulk. For example, I have an order this month where I will provide the Other Way Ministries with 16 books. This will get me closer to 100 books a month. But is there a way to break even at my current, book, uh, current 70 books a month? There is, if I lower my expenses. It currently costs me $3.65 to print each book. I have a quote from a local printing company, Whitlock, to get that expense down to $3.36. If I buy 500 copies at $3.36, that will make my new break-even point of 78 books a month. This is what I would use the prize money for. And with the leftover money, I will create more books. I want to create eBooks, translate the current books into Spanish, and then also do a new title, one of them being Princess Whitney, so that little brown girls can have an easier time imagining themselves as little princesses that look like themselves as they drift off to sleep. Thank you. Beautiful. Um, how much do you sell the books for? $12.50. And have you ever thought about earning, um, raising or more money for, uh, on your business from other, something else or another service other than just the book sales? You know, I, um, I have thought about that. So down the road, I want to do like merchandise. So I could do some little tiaras or I could do, I actually have started um, a cape and I sold it a couple of times, but uh, that's a little further down the line in terms of like um, getting a wholesale and things like that to work out. But, um, but yeah, that would be the plan in the future. Yeah. Danielle, t talk a little bit about your team or where you get the content or the illustration and all that. And how do you put a book together? And, and will there be more books, different books? Yeah, so the team is, is me and other people. Um, so <laughs> I'm not an illustrator, but I do go to this website. It's called Fiverr.com. It's basically just a, a market where you can buy anything. And so I get my uh, illustrators there. I just type in children's book illustration and find one I like and choose it and go along with that. Tell them what to do. If it comes back and it doesn't look like what I want in my vision, then I you know, have a, do a revision, make them do the adjustments and things like that. But the ideas are, are just coming from myself, but also feedback from other people. Like when, my, uh, when I did the Whitney book, my little nephew was like, where's mine? And so uh, I said, you have to help me come up with a book for little boys. And he said, OK. I said, what should the book be about? He said, I don't know, but I want the little book to be a little, I want the main character to be a little Caucasian boy. And I was just like, uh, well, <laughs> how about he looks like you? And so that kind of also is motivation and inspiration for me. Like, I'm, I just want to make sure that these kids see themselves so that they can be the main characters. One quick last question. 
Are you working with school systems or, I mean, this, you could sell anywhere? Yes. I, not yet, but that is my plan in 2017. One of them, I'm going to do a 100 school book tour. Well, I, I go and tour schools and bring my books with me and little kids can say, I saw Afro Princess today. <laughs> Thank you.